Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be showing you how to lock your mouse cursor within um, Unity 5. Now, this has changed a little bit since the likes of Unity 4. Uh, it's only really a couple of lines that you've got to understand to be able to do it. If you use the standard assets, characters, and use an FPS controller, it will have an option to turn it on or off. But if you've got your own custom controller that you're making yourself, or you're trying to make a manager which might control how many things you disable when you know you need to disable it if you go to a pause menu or anything like that you want to understand how it works in its entirety so all you need to do is create a new script so in right click your project panel go create c sharp and then we can go and write something like mouse lock then open that up in visual studio so once you're in Visual Studio, you can get rid of the two starting methods that you've got to begin with, and we can start by writing the concept. Now, um, we can just start by writing a quick void update, just so we can, you know, give the example of me being able to turn it on and off depending when you need it. You start by writing cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked with a semicolon and what you can do is you can highlight all the different elements of um, this statement that we've written and it'll tell you so it'll access the cursor API it will look at the lock state and it will set the lock mode to locked so it will be set into the middle of the screen so you can move out of that then often that goes hand in hand we want to get rid of the mouse cursor so we don't need it maybe in gameplay so we can say cursor dot visible equals false so there you go so we're setting and locking the cursor to the very middle then we're saying we don't want to show the cursor because we might be in gameplay and you don't need that to be visible in the game so all well and good so that's great if you want to lock it and hide it so what about if you want to actually unhide it after you've done that so we can do the same so we'll say cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot none and that just means yeah, we're not going to do anything to the cursor so we can freely move it around the screen and similarly as you might guess we can write cursor dot visible equals true and that will make the cursor visible again so we can see it now if we want to have a sort of thing where we can visualize this we'll just write a little if statement to control um, a button press and then it's going to control what we want to do so if we'll say that if input dot get key down in brackets in quotes I will write just a one for um, the number one on my keyboard and I'll just encapsulate this statement and then I'm also going to write another if statement for number two so once we've written these these two sort of statements we expect that when we press one it's going to lock the cursor and when we press two it's going to unhide it again you can go back into unity and you can put this on an empty game object if you wish but I'm just going to put it on my main camera for the sake of this now we can hit play now we can hit play and you can see that I can see my mouse cursor and I can wobble it around in the scene this isn't an FPS controller so I can't look around it's just the main camera now what we do is we expect when I press one it'll hide so what I'm going to do is I press one and you can see that the key, uh, the the mouse disappeared and I can't really do anything with it if I press two it'll unhide it and say I move it over here and I press one again you can see that it was in the top sort of left hand corner and I press two it'll be unhidden to the center where it was originally set so say I'm up here if you can see my mouse press one it'll set it to middle if I press two it's over here again so that's just a simple way to lock the mouse to the boundaries of your screen and also hide the cursor when you don't need to use it. So you can remember that all you need to do is worry about the lock state and the visibility of your cursor. And once you've done those two things, that's it. So hopefully this helped you out. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.